local governments perform many services for the people of their communities. Taxes pay the costs of use. People pay taxes retain government activities. The people of towns and cities need many public services. What are some of these? Cities provide trained and equipped police forces to protect life and property against lawbreakers. The city fire department guards people's lives and property against fires. Free education is one of the most valuable of public services. In most modern communities, public playgrounds and parks are provided for recreation. Taxes pay for all the kinds of costs. They pay current expense and other workers. Also pay for permanent improvements, such as new schools. Communities frequently issue bonds to spread the cost of these improvements. To obtain such projects, local governments obtain loans by selling bonds, usually to a bond house. The bond house, in turn, sells the bonds to individual buyers who have money to invest or loan. Since these bonds are loans, the buyer will receive interest. This $1,000 bond bears 3.5% interest. 3.5% or 0 .035 times $1,000 gives $35 annual interest. Interest on bonds is usually paid semi-annually. $35 divided by two is $17.50, semi-annual interest. The community issuing the bond pays this interest to the buyer. In time, the community also pays back the original amount or face value of the bond, called the principal. Each year, some of the bonds are paid off, along with a year's interest on the bonds still out. These payments are made out of taxes. Here, for example, outstanding bonds are $50,000 at an interest rate of 3.5% or 0 .035. 0 .035 times $50,000 is $1,750 to be paid as annual interest. Two $1,000 bonds are paid off each year. Two times 1,000 is $2,000, annual payment on principal. $2,000 plus $1,750 is $3,750, total payment for the first year. This is the payment made out of the year's taxes. Local taxes consist largely of charges on property. Owners of land, houses, factories, and other improvements all pay taxes. Certain properties are not taxed. These include churches, hospitals, colleges, and government properties. The share of each property owner in the total tax bill of his community is determined by the value of his property. The true value of Mr. Johnson's property is its market or sales value. This is seldom its value for tax purposes. Property is evaluated for tax purposes by the Board of Assessors. The assessors determine what proportion of the true value of each property is to be used for taxation. This figure is the assessed valuation. On Mr. Johnson's property, for example, the assessors have set a value for taxes, which is 60% of true value. The true value is $7,500. 60% or 60 hundredths times $7,500 is $4,500 assessed valuation. The amount of taxes which Mr. Johnson pays on his property 
is decided by three governments, the county, the city, and the school district. The tax rate for the county is decided by the Board of County Commissioners. This board determines the cost of operating the services furnished by the county during the next year. This is the county budget. At the city hall, the city council determines the tax rate that will meet city expenses. The board of school directors usually determines the cost of operating the schools and sets the school district tax rate. In this case, the county budget is $800,000 and the assessed valuation of the property within the county is $70 million. $800,000 divided by $70 million gives us the county tax rate. In the same way, the city sets a tax rate and the school district the tax rate. By adding these rates, we can find the tow tax rate on Mr. Johnson's property. This rate may be expressed in several ways. Four and two-tenths cents per dollar. Or is four and two-tenths per cent. Or as 42 mills per dollar. Or as four dollars and 20 cents per hundred dollars of assessed valuation. Now Mr. Johnson receives his tax bill. This bill from the tax collector tells him what his property tax payment will be for the year. Since his property is assessed at $4,500 and his tax rate is $4.20 on each $100 of assessed valuation, $4,500 divided by 100 equals 45. 45 times four dollars and twenty cents equals 189 dollars. This is his property tax. Mr. Johnson then pays 189 dollars as his share of the cost of the public services in his community. We have seen how taxes pay for the many services performed by local governments. Local taxes are largely charges on property, such as land and buildings and other improvements. The share of each property owner in the total tax bill is determined by the assessed valuation of his property. The total tax bill is set up by the local governments who make up budgets estimating the cost of their services during the year. The total amount of each budget divided by the total assessed valuation gives us the tax rate. Taxes are the property owner's payment for the public services provided by his community. When these services are adequate and efficient, they promote a healthier, safer, and happier community life.